Hi everybody, this is Tommy Joe from Bird Street Studios. I thought I would turn the camera on while I was crafting today. I have a day off of work and I oftentimes try to catch Dee Dee Willingham, do her live streams on Monday and Wednesday mornings. And for years she has done art journals and one of them she actually takes like magazines and cuts them in half and glues them together and that's what I did prior to turning the camera on. I took two of these and uh, used this turbo tacky glue hopefully enough and I've uh, glued the front you know the back to the front like that um, so I've got four of them I don't know if you can see that and I've got them rubber banded together and I'm going to set them up on my shelf <clears throat> to dry overnight Hopefully that'll hold. And then this will end up being a an art journal. I was kind of thinking um, of turning it into my uh, place where I put my Zentangle practices and pieces, stuff like that. I'm not sure. But anyways, I do know that I want to make a cover for it. And so I br brought this... This is probably going to whack out my camera, but I I keep scraps from work of paper. So I've got this paper here, and, um, and I took a piece and I wrapped it around this uh, to try to figure out size-wise to make a cover for this. And I think this will be a perfect size. I don't know what size that is. I didn't measure it. I just wrapped it around. I'm going to probably have to trim off the top or the bottom part of it uh, to make it fit because it is wider. But lengthwise, it's a good fit. So what I wanted to do before I cut that down is I also cut another piece the same size. And I want to glue them together. Um... And then, if they're a little bit crooked on the edges, when I cut it down, it won't matter. So I thought I would use this tacky glue again and try to glue these together. And then my thought was, once I get it the size I want it, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, after I practice some Zentangle, which is all new to me, um, or whatever doodling whatever then I would go ahead and glue this to the to the journal so I'm going to go ahead now and just glue these two together and I think I'm going to just do it in steps here and I've never used this turbo tacky glue this is a first this morning I watch uh, Daisy Collins from Tsunami Rose make journals and do different uh, making ephemera and stuff. And she loves this tacky glue, turbo tacky glue. Um, so I thought I would try it because I, you know, what works for some, and like this may not work for me, but um, she swears by it. So I'm certainly willing to give it a try. So, this is hard. I, I've got my light on, but it's hard for me to see without, like, getting my head in here. See if I'm on. If I've got it right. I think I do. Right there, yep. pretty good so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this whole other side and I may use a card to kind of um, flatten out the glue a little I think I have a card over here on my side 
I'm sure all this white is probably just killing the focus of the camera. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, let me get a card. I'll try to kind of flatten this glue out a little bit. care about this side this is all pencil that graphite and whatever's on my ruler this can be the inside I'm okay with that <laughs> as long as we have one good side there okay so if I take my book get in camera make sure I'm kind of in camera here if I get my book I'm looking at it's about five and seven sixteenths maybe so let's measure that out I could get a pencil here. Okay, so we want five and seven sixteenths. Let me just double check. Well, maybe we need, to, let me just. I'm going to go ahead and measure. I'm not sure I'm in camera, but I'm going to make a whole bunch of marks where I um, isn't that terrible that you question it, but it's like I don't want to do it wrong. So it would be about right here. turn the camera a little because I think I'm a little off camera. Let's see if we do it this way. This is terrible. It's making me nervous. Because <laughs> I, I really don't want to mess it up. If I, maybe I just needed that extra line in there to uh, straighten it there. Okay. And then we're going to go for it. Good. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it with my scissors. And by the way, I am rearranging my studio. I started filming uh, like a before. Um, with the studio, it's my walk-in closet, <laughs> my old walk-in closet. I had some renovations done in the house. 
and I realized that I spend so little time in my bedroom that I don't need this massive room. Uh, the closet was nice, but the room itself, I, it was way too much room for the time I spent in it. So I ended up creating a closet, um, a closet in my existing room and made this walk-in closet my studio, which in turn, my old studio was a renovated carport, which was a whole room and it's now a bedroom. So, oh, look at that, it's perfect. I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, and size-wise I'm loving it. I think it's gonna be great. Um, I don't wanna glue it on yet. Uh, until my I make sure that the magazines are glued together and stay together, but that's going to make a nice little book, huh? And I can practice my Zen tangles on papers and then put them in here or any kind of art um, that I want to do. Dee Dee does a lot of collage work and I love her little journals, so I don't know, I may go that direction. In the meantime, I think I'm going to take rubber band and rubber band my cover on there as well. And keep it all together and under a big book. So that's what I wanted to show you this morning. And I think I'm gonna try to do some Zen tangles, practice some Zen tangles. And uh, I think I might practice them on book pages. So I'm gonna get everything I need and I'll be right back. So I decided to take the leftover paper. Oh, I'm gonna probably um, have to put something on here that's got some color or something. Let's just put something here. Um, I thought I'd take over the leftover paper um, from the cover here. And I would divide it up into little squares. Whenever I watch people do Zentangle, and uh, you're going to be on this journey with me because I've never done it before. I've made mandalas and that type of thing, but I've never really done uh, Zentangle the way it's shown on YouTube or the way people do it, which is what I'm going to try to do. <clears throat> so I took this piece of paper and I divided it in half and I've got some very light pencil lines. Let me see if you can see them here. I yeah, you can barely see the pencil lines here, but anyways, I did pencil lines. And now what I'm doing down at this end is I'm trying to make a square within a square. So let's see if you can see this right here. And that's what I'm going to do all the way down the paper. And then I will watch some of the... YouTube videos and figure out how to zentangle. So right now, um, we're making these squares and I've measured, so each square is like two and seven eighths square. And then I just went inside three eighths all the way around. And I am now making a square within a square and then I will erase the outside lines and I will ink the inside squares. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And till I get a whole sheet here that I can practice some pieces on. Usually when I make a video, it's for a journal in particular or an art piece in particular. I've never just um, done a, well, I do my Create With Me's um, 
for my journals. I've never done like just an art kind of video. Um, kind of like people who who do daily videos or stream daily or something like that. So this is kind of all new to me. And so we'll, uh, um, so now what I'm doing, the C eraser is not, I don't want to leave marks. Anyways, I wanted to erase some of the lines in between here. So I just had the squares which my intent is to cut out the squares anyways and then put them in my book. But we'll see. I could leave them. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm going to continue along here and continue making the squares. So I've got two, four, six done. I have to do the actually I could run right from the bottom of these none of this has to be exact but I think I've been watching Janet Young for so long that it makes me nervous uh, not to have them uh, fairly accurate <laughs> not that anybody judges but um, you know you want to please your mentors Okay, and Janet is uh, quite good at Zentangle. Um, so if you watch her, she streams uh, after Dee Dee Willingham, I think on Mondays at one o'clock. Oftentimes I am working at that time, so I have to catch her on the replay. But she's very good at Zentangle, and she very recently uh, covered her Zentangle box, this amazing, amazing box. And I watched that video, and she has all of her Zentangle patterns in it. It is amazing. And... I think watching her cover that box really made me think that this might be a, something that I would enjoy. And I'm always looking for things to do in between the journals, you know, mixed media or illustration. And I was thinking I would like to learn this. Also, there are a lot of people now learning and dabbling in procreate and i use procreate when i'm watching tv to uh, clean up graphics uh, that i'm going to use in like making to make digitals for my uh, journal kits or something so i uh, but that's all i use it for i just simply uh, download what i'm going to clean up and while I'm watching TV, I just spend time doing that. But the Procreate art that people are creating is, again, very uh, awesome. And I thought maybe I should delve into that. I do use Photoshop on my computer. Oh, I got a glue or something there. I do use Photoshop, so I, you know, I mean, I know how to use that. 
Um, but but I have an I I just got an iPhone a couple years ago. I was like last on the bandwagon. And I'm not ready to convert to an iMac because it doesn't have the power that I need um, to do my graphics and stuff. Um, so I did buy a computer about, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago. And, you know, it's a PC. That's what I learned on. That's what I'm comfortable with. So you kind of tend to stick with what you're comfortable with. But I did go ahead and get an iPhone. That was a big jump for me. It's a big learning curve to go from an Android to a iPhone. I can't say I love it um, just because I'm so used to the Android and how easy it is and how many different things you can do and uh, I don't think Apple is really as user-friendly as they say <laughs> but I did make the jump and therefore I made the jump to the iPad and I needed a new tablet and I decided to go with the iPad because I have the iPhone and I knew that I could, you know, like airdrop stuff easier that way. And with the iCloud, you can I can still upload to my PC or download from my PC to the iCloud and then I have it available on in Procreate or on my phone or whatever. So I did make that jump. For those who are um, who started with iPhones or you know the iOS system, you probably think I'm nuts, but you know I firmly believe that it's just easier for whatever you learned on to begin with. Um, so, so that's that. Man, making the squares is like what I watch people do in Zen Tangles. They turn their paper all around. It feels like that's what I'm doing here. So we want to go three eighths here. Like I said, these aren't really exact, but. I'm okay with that part as long as they're close in size because I think when I put them in the book I'm going to want to put um, maybe three across a page or something I don't know maybe decorate behind them I haven't really figured that out yet but uh, so I'd like them all to be kind of the same size Hey, we're almost done. We're getting there. Got to put the ruler above it so I can see because I have to move everything up to stay on camera. Um, I'm using my old, I think everybody knows, I use my old phone to video, to make videos. And I just rearranged my room and it's like sitting, it's like right above so I can't move forward too far. 
And uh, I think the setup's going to work good, but it's just going to take a little getting used to. There. And there. And this should then be 2 and 2 a. Yes. Okay. That's what we want. Sorry, folks. Because this was my center line and I didn't realize that. So I want to go for my center line. 3 8. There we go. There we go. I thought I already cut this end off, but then I I forgot. So that's why we were off. And that way, this perfect should be perfect. Okay, so now we have the lines that we want. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight. we've got 18 spaces to make uh, designs. So that's a good start, huh? Okay, so I'm going to probably, I wanna see how many I can get in looks like I could get two. I can't get six because that would go right to the edge, but I could get four on a page easily in here. So I think if I cut this down and make it a little bit more workable, if I can get four on a page, then why don't we eight? do make sure I'm cutting the right way I'm gonna cut up here we'll do little pieces of four on a page one that has six okay all right this will make it a lot easier to work with so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and outline my um, I have to find a pen I'm gonna go ahead with a sharpie fine point I think and I'm just gonna all I'm gonna do at this point is make the outline of the squares What I want to see though is I want to make a couple marks. I have never seen how long you have to wait before you can erase because I want to erase the pencil lines and not have it smear. So that's pretty good. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make our lines. Oh my goodness, my Sharpie's running out too. I don't know if I have another one, let me see. Oh my goodness, okay, I don't have one in there, but I might have another one in my marker. So hold on just a second. I do have a bunch of the Sharpie rollers. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it says it's a 0.5, and I think that'll work fine. Yep, 
looks good. So I'm going to go ahead on these and make my outline squares. And I'm trying not to make real pointed corners. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I have watched a couple of videos and they um, usually have their squares or something do not have perfectly straight sharp corners. So because I'm learning, I'm going to mimic what they do. Anyways, what I was saying before was about Procreate. I have seen people make absolutely wonderful art on Procreate. And I really think that I want to try to expand more what I do on Procreate. I think it could open up some opportunities. And I found out that I can save files as PSD files or Photoshop files in Procreate. So I can then import them right into my Photoshop on my computer. Um, let's start with this one. Uh, I bought Photoshop years and years ago, Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, and tried to learn them. Photoshop being uh, my go-to program because at the time, I was dealing mostly in just raster art, which is like photographs, not vector art, which is illustration. Uh, I was doing digital scrapbook pages and then I started um, cleaning up old photos that I had, stuff like that, which you need a vec uh, raster art program to do that. And Photoshop is that. And so I, I bought Photoshop and I used to just upgrade uh, my, it was, I don't know, like 199 to up, upgrade it. But you know, I mean, that upgrade would last me a few years. Now Photoshop is uh, by subscription. So you pay monthly and Honestly, I really don't want to pay monthly yet. I'm not ready to do that. And that's one of the reasons I went with a PC instead of an um, Apple computer is because <clears throat> I can't use my Photoshop in, on an iOS system. It's uh, PC based. So. And I do use, I probably use Photoshop every day, maybe an hour every day, depending on what I'm doing. Um, so to, I can't really give that up yet. And uh, however, I don't use it actually for a living. I'm retired. So I can't really justify paying a subscription to it. I don't know. Just me. So I will definitely make do for as long as I can. Okay, I have to tell you, I'm already just having fun making squares. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. So we're going to call this video Prepping for My Zentangle Journey. And I think as I'm learning, I will just turn on the camera and take you along with me so you can learn from my mistakes and maybe cheer me on if I do well. And 
as you can see I'm not staying exactly on the lines but I just wanted them to be fairly the same size okay now I'm gonna put them back in order the way I did them and see if we can erase uh, the pencil lines without smudging our Sharpie Kind of. Yeah, my eraser's making more marks than the Sharpie made. <laughs> I don't have a very good eraser here. I need to find my other eraser. So anyways, we've got all our squares done. And I think the next video I will go ahead and start uh, with a design in here. So I'm going to uh, kind of do some research on Zentangle, some more research, and see if we can practice together. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.